Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and today what I want to talk about is uh, a different one. Horses! Oh they're very pretty horses. Um, today what and cows! This is the best start to video ever! Oh my god! Horses and cows! Yes! Oh! Well, I'm legitimately excited about that! <laughs> I don't know why! <laughs> I am a sad, sad individual but you know what I don't care because horses and cows this is Yep, you can probably click away now. This video is only going to go downhill from here. <laughs> also, look at the side of this house on the left. That's a big old house. I don't really want to know what year that was built because it might tell me about the history of it. I, I'd rather not know if I'm driving past it every day, riding past it every day. Anyway, yes. Actually, speaking of houses, that kind of is legitimately uh, the subject of the video. So, recently I have been asked by family members uh, as well as friends and whatnot and um, you know, what's kind of my goals in life you know am I just gonna keep buying bikes and never buy a house and uh, I kind of want to talk about it because I don't really know um, obviously a lot of the world rents houses forever and I don't really buy into this whole nonsense thing of you know um, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy I, I would that will not be me uh, at some point I would like to own my own house Preferably somewhere near a mountain with a 20 bike garage um, But gen generally just land but also not too far from civilization because I do like coffee I like not having to travel too far for the groceries and other things like that So that's kind of the question is you know What do you think you know because I personally I'm asking you what do you think so do leave it in the comments But also I'm going to talk about what I think because obviously this would be a really bad video if I just said, hey, what do you think, and then end of the video there. That would kind of be stupid. But, you know, I right now I live in the US. I'm born and raised in Ireland. I love Ireland. So far, I also like the US. Um, definitely too far away from mountains on a daily basis, but that's okay. We'll get over that. You know, I'm still close enough that I can get there. Um, you know, but I would also love to live in, like, Italy, in Australia, in Spain. Germany. I've been so many places that I look at and I'm like, I would like to spend an extended period of time here just to kind of ride around and see what there is to see. And I, I mean, genu genuinely, genuinely, that is kind of what my life goals amount to is I want to see a lot of the world. I want to taste a lot of the air uh, off the back of a bike, you know. I don't have a, I've said it before, I do not have an interest in doing it in a car uh, at all. In fact, if someone was to offer it to me in a car tomorrow, I might say no. If they were like expenses paid, I'd probably say yes, if I could just retire and go travel the world in a car. Yeah, I might say yes, you know, I might even not be depressed about it, but anyway, anyway. Um, I suppose the key thing for me is, you know, is like, you can buy a house. You can pay for that house for 35 years, but the only issue with buying a house is you really are kind of locked to it. I'm not really, I'm not someone who's interested in going buying multiple houses and renting some out and making money off it. I, I have literally no interest in being rich. Most every single rich person I have ever met in my life is kind of miserable because they don't do anything. Um, they just focus on making more money. And for better or for worse, and I know people will call me naive for this, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, I actually have spent quite a lot of time thinking about this, and I consider myself a relatively intelligent person. I think people are kind of greedy. Um, I don't need much to be to be happy, and I think that's kind of what really most people's goals should be, is just, you know, kind of, I think you'd be better off just being happy. Um, whereas I think a lot of people kind of miss that, um, that, that, what should be the end goal of happiness instead they just kind of try to collect wealth which I mean I don't get it I don't see the point you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go this way this time I've never been this way that's a pretty well you know like for me as well I think a lot of houses in comparison to what I earn now and historically what people have earned they're just not really worth getting into paying for for the next 35 years of my life because for me it's like I know everyone says you know it should be X amount of your paycheck and all that stuff you know all these financial advisors and honestly I think most of it's bullshit um, 
if I'm putting like a fair chunk of my paycheck into paying for a house all the time, I am not going to be happy about that in any way, shape or form because like then I don't have money to travel, I don't have money to, to, to buy motorcycles and at the end of the day that's what I want. So, you know, I don't know is there a place and, and this kind of was that place, uh, by the way. Like when, when I originally agreed, 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 agreed to move to um, North Carolina a couple of years ago, because uh, it was a couple of years ago and I said yes to the, to the whole idea, um, houses here were actually pretty affordable in this area. And I would have bought a house here rather than renting, but now the houses here are not that affordable. And also rent is kind of not that cheap. It's it's not expensive in comparison to Ireland. It's way more affordable, um, but it's still not cheap in any way, shape, or form. 100% um, not cheap. And not that I'm looking for something that's cheap, but I think it needs to. If I look at things, my brain puts a very, very specific value on on certain things. That's why. Oh, that's a really nice house. It's why, you know, when I was looking at, at buying a motorcycle over here for me, and I was looking at that Africa Twin, as much as I wanted that Africa Twin, as many times as I slept on it, I would wake up and my brain would be like, no, 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 no. That is too much money for some reason. I, I, I can't even put my finger on precisely why, but my brain was like, you will be paying for that for too long. No, don't do it. Um, whereas this, literally as soon as I saw this one, I saw the mileage, I saw the condition, and my brain, oh, look at that, this is a big house. I'm glad it turned left. Um, and, yeah, where's my brain? Oh, holy shit, that's a castle. That is a castle. Imagine how many motorcycles they could have bought instead of building a castle. What a bunch of silly gooses. You don't need a castle, you just need lots of motorbikes. And even at that, now I'm kind of gone the way it's like, mm, well, do I do I need lots of motorcycles or do I just need like one that can do everything? Or well, let's, okay, let's be honest. Let's, oh, oh. Or do I need two <laughs> that can kind of do everything that I want um, in one go? That's probably more realistic. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's going to be two. It's going to be two. So yeah, you got you have to have at least two bikes. You have to have at least two. One is illegal. Sorry. Come on, I should have went out in front of you. You're so slow. What a silly slow goose. Oh, nice. Well, yeah, that's kind of um, that's kind of where my brain sits. Is I'm like, you know, how if I buy a house, how am I going to be able to, you know, really spend time in all these different countries that I want to spend time in? Um, including here, you know what I mean? It's like, if I hit 60, what am I going to look at? Am I going to look at like, yeah, hey, I have a nice house that I spend too much time in and don't go places. And this isn't a dig at anyone. If that's what you're happy doing in your life, that's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. But you know, do I look, do I, do I stop and do I say, yeah, this is a nice house that I sit down in every evening and I watch TV. But realistically, you can watch TV and in anything, you know what I mean? You can sit down and watch Netflix on your phone in a tent uh, if you have good enough coverage. It's it's really, uh, it's one that my brain fights me on a lot because I am just at the point that I'm like, uh, you know, I don't even know. Do I, for instance, do I save up and buy a track bike or do I not buy a track bike and forget about that part of my life that brings me a lot of joy and do I save for a house? It's a, it's a really tough thing to figure out. Um, and I know I'm not the only one there, you know what I mean? And it's just kind of not a... I wish it wasn't a thing that people had to do. And, and bearing in mind, I realize, as I say this, I'm exceedingly lucky as a human that I get to be happy, healthy, have a house that I can afford to pay for and multiple vehicles. I am in no way complaining it's just kind of an interesting topic to converse about, you know what I mean? It's like, what is kind of the end goal for, for a lot of people? I'm, I just, I'd like to know, you know? Is it, is it buy a nice house and settle in the one area forever? Or do you also want to move around? Do you want to try different places? 
they want to see different cultures. I mean, Italy is one of my favorite places on the planet. It's a, a freaking beautiful country with fantastic food, beautiful mountains, amazing history, beautiful architecture. It's just such a nice place to be. Um, and that's that's something I would really like to, to I would love to, I'd love to live there at some point in my life. You know, I'd have to learn Italian. I'm not sure could I do that, but I'd try. Same as Australia, you know, Australia looks like a, actually like a really nice place to live. I have a lot of friends over there now, thanks to YouTube, and also a lot of Irish people move there. So that's somewhere I'd like to try. In Spain, I actually speak a little bit of Spanish, like a little, little bit of Spanish. I can basic communicate in Spanish. You know, I could say hi. <laughs> I kid, I can say a little bit more than hi. Um, and also, again, beautiful mountains, unbelievable roads. Not as nice architecture, still a super rich history like Italy, and they have a fantastic coastline and you know access to the rest of Europe. I mean, Italy and Spain are, are beautiful, two beautiful, beautiful countries with great weather most of the year. Germany, a lot of it doesn't have as good of weather as most of the year, but like I, I had to go to a place called Friedingen, uh, Tuttlingen, and Friedingen um, for work, and all those areas. Honestly, if I had a bike. And a year, I don't think I'd get sick of riding around there. Just that, that, you know, just that little parcel of area. It is absolutely stunning. And that's kind of where I'm at, you know. It's like, do I want to buy a house in one place? And kind of be limited to that place forever. Um, because if, you know, if you chase, like, career-wise and get lots of money, then you have to spend lots of time in your career, and then you don't get to travel as much. So where is the balance, you know? I'm not saying I have literally any answers, because I don't. I'm literally just saying all this out loud and theorizing. But it's just, it's just a really tough thing to think about. You know, I'm nearly, I'm 31 in June, which is not old, but it's also not young anymore. Um, and as a midlife crisis, I have my midlife crisis planned, you know what I mean? As soon as I can. Uh, I'm going buying a brand new bike that I 100% should not buy. That's my midlife crisis. I already know, you know what I mean? I, uh, I th I've had that shit planned out for years. Um, you know, I, th I thought I'd be bolder when I hit 30. I thought I'd be like, yeah, you know what? Throw caution to the wind. Buy a more expensive bike. Um, but I didn't do that. So I was more sensible than I, than I wanted myself to be. No, I dropped my glove. It's okay, I can reach it because I'm tall. <laughs> Premium. People think this is expensive and it's not. It's incredibly cheap. So this was like two days in and out to work and also some riding around with Toaster because she's getting she's getting some practice in on the CB. Nearly ready to come on uh, to come on the channel, I think. There you have it folks. 17 doll hairs. So cheap. I love this bike. Yeah, 160 miles, 4 gallons, or just touch over 160 miles, so it's literally 40 miles per gallon. Which, yeah, um, without giving you a panic attack and send you spiraling, um, if, if this conversation has made you uncomfortable and worried about your life plans and where you're going in your life, um, then please feel free to ignore everything I said. It was not my intention to make anyone panic. Just let me know what, like, what are you, where are you at? What do you want? You know, what's, what's your end goal? Let me know. I'm really interested. Anyway, if you've gotten this far, I really appreciate your time as always. Um, as always, especially thank you to all of my patrons. Uh, thank you again for all of your support. I do appreciate it a lot. And yeah, until next time. Thank you again for watching. Adios. Outro crew, do you have your midlife crisis planned? And if yes, what is it? I want to know. For me, it's more than likely it's 1 v 4 Not even gonna lie. It's 1 v 4 brand new. Let's do it. Bye. Bye, outro crew.